Hey, Manual Faith TNT kids. It's great to be with you this week. I know it's kind of been weird with all these changes, you know, hanging out at home. Um, I know I miss you guys hanging out at church, um, being able to play Casey ball. Although as much as I miss that, I really miss you guys just seeing you in the hallways, um, you know, giving the high fives and whatever not, you know, what all we do. That's just what, you know, that's the kind of things I miss. I don't know about you guys, but there's been a lot of changes going on lately. Um, some of you may not be quite as drastic as others because, you know, you might already be used to this homeschooling thing, but others that were used to going to school every day now having to, now having to, you know, have school at home. That's kind of a, you know, pretty, pretty drastic change. Well, tonight we're actually going to talk about another drastic change as we learn about Grace and Paul. Paul went through a pretty drastic change himself. Um, speaking of drastic changes, I do have, since we're home and I can do this kind of on a video, do have an opportunity here to kind of show you more of an experiment about some drastic changes. So let me tilt my camera down here for you. So you can see I've got some green dough balls for our TNT color. Now, these dough balls kind of represent our lives or our, you know, ourselves here. Um, and then I've got this little handy dandy uh, water bottle, spray bottle here. This kind of represents what happens when uh, Christ comes into our life. So let's, you know, we'll just give it a little spray here. How about on this one in the middle? You probably can see that one a little bit better. Squirt it from that side over here. Look at that. These balls are changing. They're kind of like fizzing and bubbling up. So some changes going on there. Get this last one here, square it, give that one, and we've got one more over here. Just see what happens to that one. Looks just like everything else. Again, drastic changes. Now, I'm not saying that our bodies are going to sizzle or bubble up when we experience God's grace, but let's take a look at Paul's life and see how he was changed after he met God and found grace on the road to Damascus. So, Paul before the road to Damascus, in Acts chapter 7, verse 55 through chapter 8, verse 3, we see that he was named Saul. He was actually a witness to the stoning of Stephen and approved it. In Acts 26, 9 through 11, we see that he was hostile towards Jesus, that he persecuted Christians and sought to have them killed. In Galatians 1, 13 and 14, we see that he tried to destroy this church. And in 1 Timothy 1, 15, we see that he's a sinner. So, after Paul experiences God's grace as he meets Jesus on the road to Damascus, we see that his name was changed to Paul. In Romans 1.16, he's now unashamed of the gospel and actually would have been um, preaching it much the same way Stephen was. In Romans 1.1, 1, 1, we see he's a bondservant of Jesus, no longer hostile towards God. In Philippians 3.8 and 9, we see that he suffers for Christ and is content in all circumstances. In Philippians 4, 1, 13, we see that he knows Jesus as Lord, and he actually started writing letters to churches to help build the churches. He went from destroying to trying to destroy it to helping. And most importantly, we see that he is saved. So as you can see, Paul went through some pretty drastic changes. Much like some of the changes you might have noticed from the last time I was on screen, I don't know if you noticed them all, there's at least seven. I'll give you five seconds to pause if you want to figure them out on your own. I got a hat on now, not wearing my glasses, shaved or trimmed up my beard, wearing a different shirt. My watch is on the other hand, although I probably wasn't showing you that one, so you probably wasn't fair. Background's a little bit different. But as much as these changes are kind of like, you know, physical and noticeable, that's kind of the point. When we understand and experience God's grace and the forgiveness that he showed us, when even though we were sinners, just like Paul, and maybe not quite as hostile towards him as, as Paul was, but we still experience God's grace. And as a result, we need to change our attitudes and our actions. Now, a lot of these times are changing and maybe you're spending more time with uh, family um, and less time with some of your friends. But I want you guys to think about some ways that you can actually change 
and maybe have an opportunity to have people recognize that you are a Christian. Know that I'm thinking about you and that I'm praying for you and that I'm looking forward to the chance when we get together um, again whenever that is. Take care. Bye.